Hi, I'm Michelle Dockery and I'm Laura Carmichael. We're going to see if we can guess the cast member based on who wore it. Let's see how we do. Ooh, that's me. Lady Mary. That's Mary. in the um, first movie. The first movie. It's a good one. This piece was uh, for the big ballroom scene at the end of the film. It's also the, um, the scene between Mary and Violet when Violet tells Mary that she's not very well. Um, this actually started as a short dress, um, which was then, which was original. Um, so it was from sort of 1928 or something. And then Anna Robbins had the rest of it made to make it floor length. Mm. It was absolutely beautiful and I loved it. It's one of my favorites. Mm. Ooh, oh, that's my wedding that's dress. Oh no, no, my wedding dress. That was also from that um, that ball in the first movie. Um, yeah, this was, and this was the dress that didn't arrive on time, so we had to make a kind of big version of it, so, yeah. um, and then a the tailored version. Um, so yeah, this felt like an ongoing process of layering different fabrics to get that front. And that tiara was amazing, wasn't it? Good tiara, a little crown. Ooh. That's Laura Haddock. It think. is. Yes, yeah, that's Myrna. Mm. Yeah. So in this movie, when the um, gorgeous Myrna, the beach comes to Danton, I think it's her arrival. And yeah, she's so. stepping out of the car. Gorgeous. Her costumes really represented the, ho the Hollywood glamour. Mm. So there was there was lots of fur and um, silky, silky and shorter fabrics. and yeah, more more loose. But I mean, so. So sexy, actually. yeah, beautiful. Really and she has that real kind of platinum blonde, blonde. Sort of mm. Monroe hair, doesn't she? Okay, that's me. That's you. That's from this movie. Well, I think I probably wore it in the first one as well. Yeah. Sometimes we wear we we wear say the same things. Mm -hmm. um, but this is, I think, this is a scene where Mary is doing um, the voice of Myrna. Yeah. Um, in the film, oh, right. on my microphone. Yeah, that's day look. So this is a day, this is day wear, and Anna wanted this to be a sort of Chanel, a kind of Coco Chanel mm. look. Um, so it has the, the double um, pearls and the beautiful um, yeah. neckline, which was a, it actually this this costume started with just that one piece, and then everything was made. So she can start from a really small detail and mm. work her way down. <laughs> um, but this is one of my favourites, I loved it. Oh yes, and this is me in the South France. This is one of my favourite outfits. I think I've ever worn that dress. It's a kimono uh, oak shirt, I think. And uh, yeah, that's an original, I think, that's a find. And then we made the silk hands. It really was, you know, right for the for the climate. I think it was cool and flurry, but yeah, I got to wear trousers and and yet break away from the kind of stiffer world of downtown you know, go a bit further into the the newer trends that sometimes we we can't go that far when we're at the house can't we? can we just the characters we play um it's all quite held so yeah so this was a chance to kind of break away and show some of the more daring 24th correct yeah. yeah isn't that the one you're on the poster as well yeah yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. And the headscarves, that's something that Mary doesn't really wear. It's not part of her wardrobe. It's very yeah. much an Edith accessory, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, is that Cora? I, I think. think it might be Cora. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's in this film. Yeah. So I think it's a dinner scene or I a drawing room scene. And I think maybe she may have worn it in the first film, actually. Some of these dresses we carry through and wanted to keep. Some moments that feel like continuity in the outfits, which I find. Yeah, it's got like a cape. A cape, yeah. yeah, some like it's like a cloak. Mm. Yeah, Cora. Oh, that's Lily. It's Lily. So that yeah. was that was um, the debutante. So that's Lily James, who plays Rose. Who plays Rose. Yeah. And it was this um, specific design where the hips, sort of, there's sort of um, padding in the yeah. hips. Um, that creates this kind of, kind of little bell skirt. It's super cute. Um, I remember Lily was like, I didn't love it. <laughs> it <was laughs> That's gorgeous. Weird. She was so cute. And it was a ballroom scene and she danced with the prince. Um, and it was very glamorous that episode yeah. because it, the, there was the royals and so the, the costumes were quite 
elaborate. It's, it's, it's such a like silhouette of that moment, isn't it? So specific to the mm. time to have that drop weight. So it's, it's amazing. That's ah, me. That's your fortuny. That's the fortuny, which is the most stunning yeah. dress I've ever worn, um, which was made um, by Fortuny for the first film. Um, it's actually on the poster as well. But it was kind of like this concertina. It's actually, it's amazing because it, it's huge, but then when you put it on, it kind of goes through. They're like the only yeah, place, the only house that make it up there. Yeah, sort of concertina fabric. And would have at the time, so it was really special mm -hmm. to, to have one of those pieces. And then she layered, Anna Robbins, our costume designer, layered it with lots of pieces of jewellery, which mm -hmm. I loved. It was funny in the fitting, she put one and then she was like, no, it needs another one. And another one. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up wearing about four necklaces of it. But yeah, it was absolutely beautiful, one of my favourites. Uh, oh, that's Cora. Cora in the first season. Yeah. I love this. Forget how gorgeous those early years were. So this would, would have been the Edwardian yeah. period. And Cora, you know, with the designers, they were always really conscious of the newness of the time. Wouldn't put that on the mother of the family. So we often are wearing the sort of fashions that look a bit later. This to me feels, you know, so early compared to where we get to mm. corsets with the higher necks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And, and more like violet, the shape yeah. that violet wears from that, from that period. And I remember thinking that Elizabeth looked like um, Eliza Doolittle yeah. in this outfit. And that yeah. hat, that was the flower show, yeah. wasn't it? Was. And we had beautiful hats. Yeah. I, I kind of miss that period for the, for the hats. We had fabulous hats. It's like a painting. Mm. Uh, oh, that's, so that's season two. season two. And that's when um, Matthew's, coming Matthew is coming home and the house uh, become a convalescent home. I think this was partly made. So it's it was French lace and it had like a lilac silk. So um, underneath, yeah. Um, <laughs> I actually remember those pearls when at the dining room scenes are quite a lot. I remember this went into the dining room scene, and I think this was the costume I was wearing when I was sort of playing mm. with my beads, just sort of fidgeting with them. And then the hook, the hook came off, and all the beads just went <laughs> onto the floor. And then, of course, for continuity, we had to fix the necklace before we, we started filming again. So they had to put the beads back on piece by piece, I felt <laughs> awful. But, um, but I loved that period and that was, you know, during the war time. So we, there was a lot of black and lilac because mm -hmm. there was a lot of, you know, mourning for for the lost soldiers. And so there was a real, you know, those colors were kind of, we were wearing those quite often. Yeah, but I loved it. And I love the hair in this series, it's very cool. different. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we want back.